All right, guys, we are here at CES 2021, still all digital. Um, and you guys know at home, I love anything that gets kids excited about Steam and just tinkering and playing with their hands and putting things together. So this is definitely the perfect match. So we are here with Jesse from PyTop. How are you doing today? Hey, how's it going? Um, great to uh, great to be here. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, yeah, I'm I'm glad to be able to talk to you. Um, and you want to tell everybody at home uh, what PyTop is and what you guys are kind of showing off at CES? Great, yeah. So, uh, so I'm Jesse. I'm one of the co-founders of PyTop, and uh, PyTop we teach computer science, uh, but through a project-based approach. So we've got uh, a brain here called the PyTop Four. And, uh, and what this is, is a little programmable computer that uh, enables you to create a bunch of projects and learn how to use uh, uh, sensors and different physical items uh, that you can uh, use to, to solve real problems in, in your world. And with that, we are uh, showing off our first robotics kit at CES. And that's, I've got a sort of pre-made version of a, of a of a uh, vehicle robot uh, here. So with our kit, you get a building structure uh, and then you can just snap on your, your PyTop 4 into um, the project that you've made. And, uh, and then uh, through, through uh, the power of the internet uh, and our software called Further, you can uh, interact with and control this uh, robot from anywhere in your house, but anywhere in the world. <laughs> And, uh, and you have uh, a bunch of little bits and pieces like this uh, little camera that you can uh, uh, connect to your robot and uh, do things like stream video, uh, 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 you know, work with computer vision and, uh, and you know, use your robot to identify uh, different objects in a room or avoid hitting into things. Uh, so, so that's what we're showing off at uh, CES, but... Uh, but yeah, so it's a fun robotics kit that uh, has a has a lot of different actions, and we uh, make sure that we take you uh, you know every step of the way from you have no idea how to build a robot through to doing really advanced concepts like computer vision or line following or uh, 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 that type of stuff. Oh, I, I, like I, I love this, and um, you know, unlike some of the kits in the past, where when I, when I was growing up, it's mostly there's no soldering, right? It's mostly kind of things snap together. You don't have to worry about wires or anything. Um, I really love that. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, so everything plugs together with, um, you know, some, some wires you've got, uh, you've got, uh, uh, bigger ones for the, for the encoder motors. You've got, uh, smaller ones for these little servo motors that you have with the kit. These are great because you can pop them on your robot and put the camera on there. And then you can, you know, tell the robot where to look uh, in the in the room and 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 see what uh, see what the robot is seeing. Um, so yeah, no soldering um, is required, and that's that's uh, that's true of all of our uh, all of our kits across the across across the pie top board. You <laughs> can do a lot of soldering myself, but it uh, you know it's not exactly the most practical thing to do. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I I, re I really love that because I know. With a lot of people, where I'm like, oh yeah, just go try, and they're like, well, I don't know how to solder. I'm like, there are, you know, you don't have to uh, these days unless you're doing something super custom. Um, so you know, yeah. it, it, I, I love that lower like, barrier of entry. <laughs> back, you know, back in the early days, of very early days of Pi Top, uh, when it was just me and and Ryan, we, you know, we would make really complex uh, PCB, you know, printed circuit boards by. Uh, you know, you have like a laser etched piece of aluminium and you'd put it over the circuit board and you'd scrape the solder paste over the top <laughs> and then use a micro, uh, uh, you know, use a you, you squint really hard or, or use a magnifying uh, pair of glasses and place all the components on there and, and then put that in a toaster oven. <laughs> and if you, and then, you know, turn, turn it on and, and just stare at it very carefully and, and then it'll, you know, it'll melt uh, the solder and, and then you turn it off and, don't move it, let it dry. And then and there you go. You've got yourself a soldered component, <laughs> yeah. but, uh, but no, nothing like that with this. The, the whole point about this is, you know, I, I, I bet, you know, as someone who likes technology, you've always wondered, well, how does a motor work or how does a, you know, like when, when I, when I back up and my car is beeping and telling me I'm too close to something, like, how does all that work? Well, with this type of kit, uh, you, you, you learn all that. So if you've ever wanted to learn how an ultrasonic sensor works, this is what, will tell you that, uh, you know, you're too close to something or, or you're fine. Uh, you know, 
you can get this kit, go onto our site, uh, at, onto our uh, learning platform further. And you've got loads of code examples on how to use this, practical real life examples of how you would use this. Um, and the important part is that, you know, you can tinker with that and apply it to a problem that you want to solve yourself. So it could be something like obstacle avoidance, you know, using this robotics kit, or uh, it could also be, you know, you might uh, set up an alarm that tells you when uh, your parents or someone's coming to your room. Uh, well, you, you know, you can do the same thing with the same, you know, with this, with this uh, piece of kit, but it's just the code that changes. And, you know, we're with you every step of that journey, uh, uh, making sure that, you know, you don't get any, uh, uh, you know, it's sort of an obstacle avoidance. <laughs> In, our, in your learning uh, to make sure you, that you uh, that you know uh, know everything that you can do with that and uh, and you don't get stuck along the way so it's uh, it's really good fun yeah oh I I, I totally dig it so um, yeah speaking of kind of you know your your learning platform platform with further and stuff um, so what kind of different languages uh, does does your kit support because I know I, I, you know, you talk to five different programmers, they'll tell you five different languages that you should start learning with. So, yeah. you know, I'm always kind of interested yeah. in, you know, where you're kind of learning your building blocks on. Yeah. So we, um, we focus on Python coding and the reason that we focus on that, it's a, uh, it's a really well-known language all across the world. It's one of the most popular, uh, coding, uh, languages and it's a very forgiving, uh, 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 language to, to learn and to deploy. So, you know, when you're coding in something uh, a little less forgiving like C, um, then, you know, it, it, every, you can have some languages where, you know, every space counts and it, you know, that's, that's not the case with Python. So it's, uh, it's a little more flexible and user-friendly. Uh, and also, you know, you can apply it to uh, just a whole raft of, uh, of, of different applications. Um, I, I know my, uh, data scientist friends, they swear by Python. Um, cause yeah, it's I, super fun, you know, and it's, it's, it's fun and easy to, to pick up and, 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 you know, get on with, and there's loads of people who use it. So the great thing about it is there's lots of, uh, you know, there's lots of examples of, of people doing fun projects and, uh, and you can find that kind of stuff on further, but, um, but you can also find it widely available all across the internet, you know, if, uh, 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 you know, people, people build all sorts of weird and wonderful stuff. Yeah. I, I love that. Um, so yeah, you, you kind of mentioned that it, it, it has a wide variety of stuff. So like usually what's the kind of the, the young, like what's your, you know, suggested age range for, for introducing this to a kid and, and programming? Yeah. So, you know, I think, uh, it, it, if you can read, you can use a Pytop, right. And that's the, if you can read and type, then, then, then you can use one. Um, and you, there's a lot of projects for, for total beginners. And I've always thought, you know, a beginner is a beginner is a beginner. You could be eight or you could be 88. Um, as long as you can uh, engage with the content, then you can, then you can, you know, learn with it. Uh, typically though, you know, I would say uh, 10 plus, 12 plus. Uh, the, the cool thing about the pie top is that although, you know, we start out at a, at a, we call it, you know, low floors, low floors, wide walls, high ceilings. And, uh, and oh, the low that. floor aspect of it is, you know, you're going to learn how to, uh, code LEDs. You're going to make this thing, you know, blink on and off. And, you know, with PyTop, you'll learn this in you know, under five minutes, literally as, as soon as you start, uh, uh, you're immediately, uh, um, programming things like this, they're simple and they're fun. And then you graduate to, uh, okay, well, instead of using code, uh, to, to have that, um, uh, to have that turn on and off, I'm going to use a, a button. I'm trying to get it out of here. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to program a button, uh, to turn that on and off. And then you're going to, you know, you're going to add this component with this component. And when you press this button, then the led is going to turn on and then you start, you know, you're learning about inputs and then you're learning about outputs. Um, and as you go through the stages of that sort of gradual increase in difficulty, you know, well, then you start to learn things about, well, you know, okay, I've got this, uh, this little servo motor. How do I control this? How do I know that it's gone exactly, you know, 10 degrees? Um, and, uh, and, and so the, the, the gradual increase in difficulty um, is there. Uh, and it's important to, to do that because eventually, you know, you start using some of the more advanced functions on, you know, this uh, 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 expansion plate. Um, this has got a little 
IMU in it. Uh, so it's got a gyroscope, an accelerometer, a magnetometer, which gives you nine degrees of, uh, uh, of freedom of control. That means, you know, in conjunction with these encoder motors, which have Hall effect sensors in them, uh, and this camera and this ultrasonic sensor, you're able to build a robot that really understands and knows where it is, you know, in physical space. Uh, and when you start to do that, uh, you know, you're talking about university level applications where you're, you know, you, you have, uh, for example, like factory based robots that understand and know where they are in the factory. They can, you know, use uh, a sort of internet of things, uh, 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 technology to relay where it's at in the factory and be uh, asked to do things in the factory, like maybe retrieve a, a you know, a certain uh, piece of stock and then, uh, you know, take it to, uh, uh, you know, a delivery truck or something like that. So the, the applications, although they start out basic, you know, we really are there for the whole journey. Um, you can go right up to, to, you know, university and beyond level concepts with this type of kit. And I think that's special because I really haven't seen that in another robotics kit uh, uh, or, or sort of learn to code platform. Um, usually it'll, it, they'll, they'll kind of stay around that easy-ish beginner level. Uh, but, you know, at PyTop, you know, we believe in the, in the power of, of learning and sort of the power of humanity to, to understand complex concepts as long as the content journey on the way is, is understandable. And so, uh, and so that, you know, that's always, a, always something you see with, with every one of our products and all of our software and lesson plans is, is, that, is that, you know, taking you there through a journey of learning um, and really believing in you to, you know, be able to take on these advanced concepts. Uh, you know, it, it's just like any other skill. Uh, if you practice, you're going you're gonna to be able to do it. Oh, I, I, I totally love that. Um, and then, so I, I know this is not your only kit. So you, you have a couple of kits, right. That you kind of can yeah. also grow with. Like, um, could you kind of explain or describe a little bit of them and like, what kit would you recommend for somebody who's like, just looking to get their feet wet? Yeah. So, you know, we start out with a basic, uh, uh, $99 version, uh, called the Pi top DIY kit. And that's, uh, that's, that's this, uh, this little programmable computer you see here. With this, uh, you get uh, everything to turn a Raspberry Pi. Really, it's like kind of like power armor for your Raspberry Pi. You've got a battery in here, you've got internal cooling, you've got uh, a, a, a sort of easier to access GPIO pin uh, set up right here, which are the little pins on the Raspberry Pi that enable you to control things. Uh, and then you've got programmable buttons uh, here and here and a little OLED screen for a readout. Now, uh, with that kit, you'll provide your own Raspberry Pi, um, or you can get, uh, we also do a sort of complete kit, which is um, a, 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 a DIY version with, with those bits and pieces um, uh, there for you to, uh, to put in yourself. I like that because it you know, teaches you kind of what's inside and you get to, you, know, you, know, it, 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 you don't have to take off the hood. It, it comes with the hood you know, taken off and you're gonna put things in there and, and really, get to grips and, and understand what goes in there. Um, we also sell a foundation kit, which has got a, uh, which looks like this. I, it, I, I like to think it's kind of like an electronics, uh, electronics bento box. <laughs> so it's, it, it's, it's a nice little kit like that. Um, and in here you get a foundation plate, which this uh, uh, programmable computer snaps into. And then you get a whole range of uh, sensors, buttons, you know, uh, buzzers, basically inputs and outputs that you can integrate with your PyTop 4. And uh, that also comes with little Lego compatible connectors. So with these, uh, you can just pop them uh, magnetically underneath these, uh, uh, underneath these little bits. And then you can create like a, maybe a, a Lego castle. And uh, that's one of my favorite projects to do with, with the foundation kit is, you know, make a Lego house, uh, put these LEDs in there, uh, use the, the ultrasonic sensor that comes in the, uh, in the foundation kit. And, you know, you can kind of, when you put a little character in front of a door, it'll, you know, make the buzzer go off or it'll make an LED light up. Um, really, it's all about getting to grips with using Python code, using real code, 
and applying that towards physical items in the real world. Um, and then of course we've got our robotics kit, which extends that knowledge into, you know, movement into computer vision, into data gathering and harvesting, and then using that data to, to, you know, to, to do things that you, uh, you know, want to happen. Uh, and then we've also got a, a, a laptop uh, kit, uh, really, which is uh, our screen and keyboard. Don't have the keyboard with me, but um, this is a fantastic full HD touch screen. Uh, it's, a, it's a super high quality little piece of kit. Uh, and I, I think um, it, it's sort of secretly one of my favorite, favorite things. You just pop the, the Pi Top 4 into the back there. Um, and we've also got a display cable uh, that you can use. And this, uh, you can just get a raw uh, Raspberry Pi, uh, power it up, plug it into this, plug it into that screen, and then you've you know, got yourself a little uh, super high quality Raspberry Pi screen. But the thing that kind of sticks it all together is PyTop Further, and that's our online platform. There you're gonna see lesson plans, you know, teaching you all about the code uh, that you need to learn to start all of these projects. Um, and as you progress through that, you know, really what we'd like is for people to just get on with it uh, themselves. You'll get to a certain point where, you know, you don't need to, to go through a lesson plan and you're going to want to create something completely new and different uh, to anything you see on there. And, uh, and, and you know what, you're going to have learned the skills to be able to do that. And you're going to have a lot of the components uh, that you would need to do pretty much any project. And if you don't have those components or if we don't sell them, uh, PyTop 4 is compatible with Grove sensors, which uh, they have hundreds and hundreds of different uh, little bits and pieces that you can integrate into the PyTop 4 ecosystem. And, and you can use those to push code to and gather data from. So if you want to use like moisture level sensors or, uh, or you know, uh, air quality uh, sensors, um, you, you can find all those from, from Grove sensor kits and, uh, and you can integrate those with PyTop and, uh, and control them through further or through a, Py uh, through a Python uh, shell that you host locally on your PyTop. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I totally love it. I love the expandability options too because uh, right when you, mentioned, uh, when you mentioned it, like, I, yeah, I was thinking about it. a lot of kind of some of those uh, intro kits, they kind of just get you there and, you know, maybe they have a handful of, projects but then after that you, you know you, you can't go so i really love the ability to be able to grow and expand your skill set as, as you learn more and yeah. more about it and i i have to yeah. say out of all the kits i've seen this one's kind of one of the more elegant looking ones where i'm just like just watching you snap the pie top into the back of the uh, ta uh your display i was like oh that's nice <laughs> yeah no i i really appreciate you saying that we uh you know, I, I always used to say, just because it's education doesn't mean it can't look good. Uh, and, and, and I really love the way that the product set looks. And I have to, you know, take my hat off to, you know, our engineering team and everyone around the way this, the way this looks. I love it. And, uh, and you know, a, a lot of people are, are super complimentary about, about the way it looks. But, you know, you really hit the nail on the head in terms of just the expandability. The whole, you know, we've, we've been, we've been, you know, we've been building this education company for six years. Uh, and it, you know, it started in my living room and it's gotten, you know, uh, a lot bigger than I, I, I ever thought it, thought it would. Uh, and the, the, the thing that has carried on through from the very beginning was we wanted to teach people real skills. We wanted, we didn't want to obfuscate it, uh, in a way that, just made it meaningless. Um, there's a certain, uh, you know, there's, there's always good uh, in understanding the logic behind coding. But at a certain point, you need to be able to take it from, you know, just the logic through to I'm actually doing this and I know how to do it and I could do it on my own and I can apply it towards problems that I want to solve. And, you know, there's a lot of stuff in that initial phase of, you know, uh, learning the logic. And it never takes you through properly to you're actually going to build real stuff. You're going to code real things and it's going to be your code and you're going to do it because you understand it. And that's, you know, that's, that's where I love uh, sitting at uh, with the, with the PyTop ecosystem and that, you know, yes, you're there, we're there at the beginning and, and you're going to, you're going to learn all about the logic and how everything works and we're going to hold your hand. But the whole point of this is to get you to a level that, um, 
you know, you're, you're going to go, you know, you're, you're going to have learned it and you're going to, you're going to teach your little brother or sister to do it, or you're going to show your parents something that, you know, you built completely yourself, or you're going to, you know, show your kids uh, some fun project that gets them inspired uh, to learn core STEM skills that are going to be useful for them, you know, the world over in the future. Uh, yeah, I, I, I love it. Um, and then I have to ask one of the questions from our from our audience when I was going through the list of uh, interviews that I was excited, as you can tell, you guys were on that list. Um, yeah. and, and so in our community, we're kind of big, uh, combat robot fans. So he, oh, yeah. he wanted to make sure that I asked you is, could we build a combat robot out of a pie top kit? Yeah. So, I mean, look, you know, the pie top, uh, <laughs> this is a super capable brain. Um, you know, it's a quad core, uh, uh, I think one point, three gigahertz per core, four gigabytes of RAM in here. It's got a, a it, it, so I think if you were doing a sort of a, a pound for pound a, a combat robot fight, uh, yeah, definitely. Um, <laughs> you could make, uh, make a, a, a combat robot out of it. If you wanted to do one of those, uh, you know, beefy uh, sort of robot wars uh, style uh, things, uh, you know, the, those, uh, those have huge batteries and huge motors and just, you know, crazy amounts of, uh, 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 you know, like pistons and just, you know, it's a massive mechanical thing. Um, so yeah, you know, you could also do that, but it, it, you'd be more using this as a, as a sort of brain controller for, for that kind of, uh, interface. Um, uh, or, you know, you could go a totally different route you could, uh, you could do something where you, you create, uh, you know, create a robot that has a, a sensors on it that um, that you know uh, sense uh, 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 you know some sort of uh, you know low low level laser or something, and um, you know kind of like those like laser tag, uh, but for robots. <laughs> I bet you could do that with this as well. I haven't thought of that though. Oh yeah, that that is super cool. Um, and then, so if people are interested in checking out PyTop, where should they go? Yeah, so um, just pytop.com, P-I-T-O-P.com. And there you can find uh, information from us. You can find us on Amazon uh, or just hop into, you know, YouTube and type in PyTop and, and take a look at what people have, uh, have, have uh, you know, said about us and reviewed the products. Um, it's, uh, we're, you know, we're, we're all over the place. And we have great distributors all across uh, the world. So, um, you know, check out, uh, check out them. Sometimes they have faster shipping in your location. Oh, I love it. So Jesse, thank you so much for talking to us. Like I, I am, I am always a huge fan of kind of anything that will help promote kids get, to get more interested in Steam. I mean, that's why I became, you know, a science and a tech head was because I had some of those kits and I just love seeing people, you know, make even cooler and cooler kits that you can get kids, even more kids interested in it. So I totally appreciate it. Well, I really appreciate you having me on and, uh, you know, I couldn't agree with you more in that. I really think that education is the great equalizer. And, uh, and you know, if you uh, learn uh, computer science skills, they can be fun and interesting. And, uh, and, and they can also be really useful for you as you, you know, grow into, uh, you know, that stage of your life where you're looking at careers. And, uh, and you know, I think we're really useful for that. Awesome. Thanks a lot uh, for taking the time to chat. And, uh, yeah, it's been a really fun one. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, guys, this is ktdata.net at CES 2021. We hope you guys enjoyed this interview because I know I did. Uh, so see you guys next time.